Okay, this is going to be a really fun lab. I think you're going to like it. It's pretty nerdy too. So for this lab, if you want to follow along, all you'll need is a Linux Mint VM. I'm running Linux Mint here, version 19.2. I've got it in a virtual machine. If I go to machine uh, settings, you'll see that I've got my network adapter set to bridge mode. So you're going to want that. Uh, the other thing that I have here is under devices, um, shared clipboard. I have host to guest set, and I've also installed the guest editions image so I can make the screen a little bit bigger. So you'll want that stuff. So anyway, in this lab, we're going to create an ASCII animation uh, Telnet server. Uh, yes, Telnet's super insecure, one of the most insecure protocols of all time. It's also very old, but it's pretty fun because one of the things that I have students do in my class when uh, we first uh, start class is for fun is we go to towel.blinkinlights.nl and I do this in some of my beginning classes and even in my advanced classes and we tell net into towel.blinkinlights.nl to see the Star Wars ASCII animation and it takes a little uh, bit of time here to get started up but once it gets started up uh, the students are pretty amazed by it and I think it goes back to the early 90s and it's pretty old, there you go. It's just uh, somebody put a lot of love into this and uh, it's pretty fun. So I started thinking it would be cool to have my own animation server, my own ASCII animation server, because sometimes when I'm in class, they have uh, Telnet blocked because it's not a very secure protocol. So I could always run my own server and then serve my own ASCII animations. So luckily, like anything on the web, someone's already done it for us. And so it was pretty easy to actually get this set up. So I'm gonna walk through the process of creating your own ASCII animation for Star Wars so that you could serve this or you could make your own ASCII animations, etc. It's a good networking project and I think it's pretty fun. So I'm gonna walk through the uh, project right now. I'll have the complete set of instructions listed in the video description below the video. So let's get started right away. Now, first thing I wanna give credit where credit's due. At GitHub, Nitrum509 has created an ASCII Telnet server in Python. It's, it's pretty awesome and it's really well documented. Here's the whole, basically the program with all the files that you'd need. He has everything you'd need. He has a great explanation. It's really well organized and you can just download this folder and install it and it works. It's pretty cool. So I'm gonna walk through that right now and uh, it should be pretty easy and pretty fun. So I'm going to get a new terminal here and then I'll close this for now. There goes our animation not to worry because we'll be doing it again. So here's my new terminal. And I'm just gonna walk through these instructions. So the first thing you're gonna to need to know is what is your IP address? So mine is 192.168.8.179. I'm gonna need that for connecting to my Telnet server to see the animation. So I'll take note of that. And then we're gonna run a couple commands, sudo app dash get update. You're going to want to run this command to update your soft, uh, software package list. I've already run it, so I'm not going to run it, but you'll need to run that. And then after you do that, we're going to do a sudo app dash get install x init d and telnet d. So we're going to install these two programs. I'll put in my password and Okay, done. I'll type clear. And the next thing I'm gonna do is now that I've got the Telnet server installed, I'm going to change directories and I'm gonna go into root etc x init d dot d. So now I'm in x init d dot d. And inside of this folder, I'm going to create a text file called Telnet. I've created the file Telnet. Right, let's see here, there it is. Now let's edit it. I'll use nano to edit it. And I'm just going to paste in a quick configuration which I found online. And this is just to test that the server is working. 
and then I can create a configuration file for it. So we'll test this out. Everything in here looks good, just the way it is. So I'll save it, Control X, Y, and Enter. And then I'm going to start the service or restart the service. So uh, sudo service x init d restart. And now I'll see if I can connect to it from PuTTY from my Windows host. So in Windows, I've already downloaded PuTTY. And I'll use Telnet port 23. And I'll put in the IP address. And and I'm not sure if that's the right address, so I'll double check again. Nope, it's not. I used the wrong IP address. Okay, so that's 179. So let's try that again. That's why you have to take good note of what the address is. 192.168.8.179 Telnet port 23 and open and look there's a login screen so I have a prompt for logging in I'll put in my username of my Linux Mint virtual machine and the password and I'm in awesome so I was able to Telnet into Linux Mint once again Telnet super insecure but I'm doing this in the, um, the safety of my own network here, so I'm not that worried about it. So I'll exit out. And now that I know that it works, I'm going to make a few changes to it. So the changes that I'm going to make is I'll stop the server first. And then I'm going to re-edit that file and put in a different configuration that we're going to use for our ASCII animation server. Now I have that configuration right here in my description and maybe all of this won't fit in the description in the video so I might have to put it up on my website on a page on my website which then I'll link to. That might be better because some of these characters are not going to work in a video description on YouTube. So we'll delete this and paste in the new configuration. All right, perfect. Service is Telnet, and we're using port 23, TCP, and there's gonna be a log file in root var log ask called ASCII player. We're gonna to need to, we might need to create that. And then the server is root user bin Python. So hopefully that's the path to Python on your system. Then even more so, the server arguments here, so this is interesting, the server is going to be located in root opt ASCII player, and then the server is a Python script, which we're going to get from GitHub, and then the animation will be in the same folder, and the animation is sw1.txt, which we'll also get when we download the files from GitHub. So this looks good. I'll just do a control X, Y, and enter. And then I can start up the server again and make sure that it starts. It does. All right, so now on to the next piece. So now I'm going to do a sudo mkdir, whoops, dir into root opt ASCII player. And I'm going to make this folder. So in the root opt directory, I'm going to make a directory named ASCII player, and then I'm going to go into that directory. So we'll go into that directory. I'll type clear. And now I need to just go and get the files from GitHub that we're going to need. So I'll copy this, and that's the address that I need and the command, and I'll paste it in here and hit enter and I should have the files. So let's take a look. Sure enough, there's the files. So what I'm gonna to need to do is, is change directory, go into this folder, take a look inside with the ls command. I need to move all of these files 
up one level to the ASCII player folder because that's where our configuration file on our server is going to be looking for these files. So I'm going to do a sudo move and I'll move everything up one directory. So now if I do an ls you see there's nothing in here and then cd dot dot go up one directory do an ls and you can see now I have all of the files in the root opt ASCII player folder. This folder here is now empty so if I wanted to I could just delete it but I don't need to um, I can leave it the way it is. So the next thing we're do is we're going to edit this Python script that's the server. So sudo nano ASCII underscore telnet underscore server uh, whoops, I've got it spelled wrong here. And there we go. We'll edit it and we'll change the path here to Python. Because in this path here, it says we've got, a, we've got a hash bang and then a root user bin environment Python. I'll just get rid of the ENV. So it just says root user bin Python. There we go. That's what I need. And the rest of the script here is Python script that you can read. You've got the copyright here. Uh, once again, we got this from, from Nitram509 from his GitHub site. Okay, control X, Y, and enter. All right, excellent. So we edited the file. Now I'll go back to my instructions here. After we edited the file, what else do we need to do? I know what we need to do. We're going to copy the movie out of the sample movies folder and we need to get the movie into this ASCII player folder. So in the sample movies folder, if we do an ls sample movies, you see there's a, a three movies in there. So we're gonna copy this one out of that file. So we'll say, let's see here, copy out of root opt ASCII player sample movies sw1.txt and we're going to copy it into this folder and the same name sw1.txt. Okay, ls, and there it is. So we have it now here, so it should work now. All right, I copied the folder. Okay, just for good measure, I'll do a sudo service x init d restart just for good measure, and it should be working now. Now, if you want to test it, just stand alone right here in your, um, your, right here in your terminal, then there's a command in the instructions here for testing it. I got this all from his website. Documentation was excellent. So I'll paste that. So there we go. We run the server. You can see that TCP server is on 0.0.0.0 uh, colon 23 playing the movie. So now all I need to do is open up another prompt and telnet into 127.0.0.1 and there's the animation. You can see it's working. Woohoo! All right. If I want to connect to it from another computer, the main thing to do here is, let's see here. Let's see here. If I want to connect to it from another computer, well, let's give it a try. What is my IP address? I think it's 179. So from my Windows system, I'll open up PuTTY and go to Telnet, put in the IP address, and connect. And there it is. So it worked. 
so now we're serving this animation. So now that it's worked, or now that it's working, I can play with the server, I can modify the Python script if I need to, um, I can add new animations if I want to, or make my own animations, and that could be pretty cool. So there you have it, your own ASCII animation server serving Star Wars in ASCII.